Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just drop me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. So for the day, we're looking at the futuristic gas station, which is this lovely thing right here. It features projectors on the rotors to create that floating text up there which says refill and recharge, which is very nice. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The futuristic gas station is 1,188 large blocks, requiring the decorative block number 2 DLC pack and the economy deluxe DLC pack. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside and then we're going to just have a little wander around inside and see what it has to offer. So at the very front here we've got a glass dome which is the main building for us to go in and out of. If we were just to come back a little bit we've got some oxygen farms which are all connected up underneath the ground like so. So you do need to make sure when you spawn this in that everything below here is under the ground. Now I could not do that myself because the Mars like surface is a little bit off to play with so I did use the terrain tool to try and level it out so if you see any kind of ground sticking through some blocks that'll be my fault completely. Yes we've got our auction farms right there to make sure everything's all filled up inside. Coming around the side we've got some lovely battered armoured blocks with some brownish colouring on it which is just holding our solar panels to make sure this place never runs out of power. Going up the middle of our glass dome we've got some more blocks that lead all the way over to the central point right here but we've got a light that shines up straight towards our projected blocks. If I just come and drop down and turn around, we then have some more oxygen farms at the back there, for some additional oxygen generation. Then as we continue along around this building, we can see the back side of this building where we have another entrance to go in and out of. Then as we come all the way around, we then have our vehicle bay for us to roll up a land vehicle or to have a small ship fly in and connect onto that point. And this is it from a distance like so. We've got some LCD screens spread it everywhere to make sure you can see all the information about this station and it does look good. So that's a very brief around the outside. Now it's time for me to get into my character and to go on inside. So it's not too much to talk about on the vehicle side. It does look great for you to have a vehicle to come roll up and connect up. There's our LCD screens below here which is then telling us, oh, got to put my dampeners on. There we go which has hydrogen and oxygen limit on there. And as we come all the way around to the back here, we can then see some more oxygen and hydrogen on the opposite way. And then for the other LCD screen, we then got, again, the hydrogen and oxygen storage. So now we can come and go into the main body of this building. So coming around to here and dropping down, we come onto some blast door blocks. And this is the interior. We can see how the projector has been set up to spin around and create that text up there. And just looking around, we just got some few bits and pieces to recharge ourselves and to do whatever with. So on this side here, we then got some blocks that come across to a hydrogen tank. And we can see how much has been stored in there, which will go across to our vehicle bay and recharge itself up if you're using hydrogen. We come over to here, we've got a little programmable block, which has the automatic LCD screen script on there. Then turning all the way around, we then have some half stairs that go up to a vending machine. So coming all the way around and hopping up, we then come across our vending machine, order whatever we want in this station, and then just drop back down and look over to here. We have another LCD screen surrounded by some batteries, telling us everything about this station. And then going over to the ATM, we can then deposit all our credits if we've been doing some trading. And then as we look all the way around, we can see lots of lights everywhere with a nice blue glow. It makes for a great little abandoned station actually, if you just have these dotted all the way around the Mars-like planet, you could use these as a emergency storage or investigate why they're being abandoned and all that. But that is it for this video, there's not too much else to talk about with this station, it's very self-explanatory. So if you wish to download it, there'll be a link to it in the description below, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.